What's up guys? So, um, I have a really cool vlog for you guys today. I'm working on something that I actually want to show you guys. So let's say your church has an idea of, of creating video, creating content, taking really good pictures, but you may not have the adequate like surroundings. You may not have the adequate, like the, the, the specific look that you're going for. That's why I'm building this thing. This thing will be good for taking pictures, creating promotional videos, creating your announcement videos, whatever it is that you're creating, you can do it with this thing. And um, I've already given one side a coat, so one side will end up being just a flat white, just to have a white background to be able to take pictures, do video, whatever it is. Um, and then the other side is gonna be completely black, but it's gonna be a chalkboard white. Um, black, which means I'm gonna be able to do uh, chalkboard artwork with it and all that good stuff. We wanna do a sermon series or, or anything like that. But let me show you. So, all it is, it's a huge wall on wheels. Pretty cool. So essentially the wall is sort of just put on these uh, moving um, dollies. And they're just your standard moving dollies. And I'll show you guys the other side. It's just moving dollies on um, a two by four frame. Put some handles so you can move it. You don't want to be pushing it from the wall side. You don't want to get dirty or anything like that. So I put these um, little handles on the side. All it is is four sheets of sheet rock that are four by eight. So this thing is about eight feet tall. Um, and then some inches, whatever the, the dollies down there are giving us. But essentially all it is is two by fours and sheet rock guys. I mean, you really, really could do this. So I'm going to do a quick time lapse as I give this thing a second coat of uh, the chalk side. And then I'm going to flip it around and do the side with the uh, with just the white paint. Chalkboard paint. I just got this cheap sort of tray to use for today. I'm only going to use it once. Doesn't need a whole lot of craziness, so. So now just to give you guys sort of an update of how the project is going on, I've now, um, this has already been sanded, all that process is done, we've already done coats of white. This might be like the third coat of white I did just to make sure um, I got rid of any imperfections in there. The paint is really good about hiding that stuff because when you work with white paint, um, as I've learned, it's actually, any little imperfection will actually pop up. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Um, it's still a little bit wet on that what on the white side, but um, I'll show you guys sort of the uh, the overall.
And, and pretty much when I'm standing next to it, you can kind of see it, um, how big this really, really is. So we're gonna flip it around and then I'm gonna show you guys something that I'm gonna do with the black side, which is the chalk side. Um, and something that I just learned that you're supposed to do, had I not seen that video, um, I would have probably messed it up, but I'll show you guys here in that in one second. And this is black, but it's not just black paint. It's obviously chalk paint. So I'm gonna position it here a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an eraser and a piece of chalk. And what you do is you actually coat it and you create a very, very thin layer of what the chalk is going to be. If I start writing on the wall as it is, what's gonna happen is because you're using a pointy side um, parts of the chalk will actually get stuck into the little grooves. So what we want to do is give it a first coat of all of chalk and what that's going to help you do is whenever you go back to clean it, it won't leave like solid lines behind. So um, had I not bumped into that YouTube video, thank you YouTube, had I not bumped into that YouTube video, I would have probably started drawing on this thing right away and I would have probably, I mean not messed it up, but eventually like as much as I would have cleaned it, it would have been, there would have been some definite lines back there. So. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of that and uh, yeah, so a chalk and an eraser. So now what I'm gonna do after giving it a coat, I'm just gonna pass the damp rag all over it just to make sure that whenever I actually do draw something, it comes out nice and it's neat looking. Um, and you can do that again, just using a damp rag. You're able to reuse it over and over and over and over again. But for when I hear that first coat is actually very, very important just to protect the board and that way all your graphics or whatever you're gonna you know, draw on there look good. So yep, here's the time lapse. Right, guys so um that is a little sneak peek of the stuff that i plan on doing uh with this chalk wall i am super excited and uh yeah For my first one is not that bad it looks pretty good um fear is a lie guys fear is a lie so again um all it is is four um eight by four um pieces of sheetrock some two by fours some moving dollies and you got yourself a really cool um, background where you can, I mean, I could literally stand in front of this thing and record a video right now if I wanted to. Um, doing a promo, doing whatever it is. Um, it's really easy, it's movable. You can do whatever you want to do with it. So that might be a great idea for your youth group, for your church to do. If you don't have, like I said, the adequate like background, the adequate, you know, uh, the, the look that you're going for. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm gonna post down in the description everything that I used um, to create this and where I bought it. But usually, I mean, Home Depot, Lowe's, that kind of stuff. It's really easy to find. So if you have any questions, let me know. God bless you guys. And that is the end of the vlog.